Research in the area of imaging sensorics has been conducted since more than 25 years at the University of Siegen. Since more than four years now, we have the GRK Imaging New Modalities, which is a publicly funded research project with more than 25 doctoral students. Uh, the topic is actually threefolded. Uh, at one hand, we have real-time range sensing sensorics. Second topic is terrace imaging. And the third topic is multispectral imaging. Time of flight cameras are a very recent development in the context of range imaging. And here at the University of Siegen, one major development, the so-called photonic mixing device, has been made. Recent developments go in the direction of long-range time-of-flight imaging, as you can see in this example. Yeah, well, I think the most special uh, thing that I found here when I arrived was to, to find uh, Willy Grafra speaking to me in Spanish when I came. So uh, very, very great support from the beginning in, in such direction. And uh, really, it, is a, it was a great beginning. Uh, it looks like any problem you can get, he can solve it. The research in the GRK is very interdisciplinary. So on the one hand side, we have electrical engineering. And in this area, the development of new sensors is the focus. On the other hand, computer science researchers directly work with the sensors and the sensor data developed by these new sensory systems. We can exchange the information during our meetings and we can just call the colleague and ask, uh, yeah, I have this problem, uh, maybe you met this before, maybe you have an idea, how can I solve it? And this is a very big advantage um, of working in this, in this interdisciplinary group. I um, do research on uh, terahertz technologies for imaging uh, with a security application, which means that um, especially we want to have an imaging system at the end which can recognize and find a hidden explosive under clothes on a human. These detectors are very fast, so if you have a large array of these detectors, you can measure a large scene in real time. As a doctoral student of the GRK, I additionally educated in the direction of ethics, social implications and also privacy issues in order to make them aware of the implication of their individual research towards society. Also, all of our research results are publicly available due to the fact that the GRK is fully publicly funded. I have this image as input. I can extract the 3D geometry here of the face and also a two-dimensional texture, which I can patch this texture on this 3D geometry and have a result like this, but it's three-dimensional. The challenge for me is to start from this point. These are available to start from this point and refine this model and uh, refine the algorithms who you, which use uh, this information for face recognition. I looked for this position and I found my position here. It was something, it's like something which has been made for me. 